Hello my fellow video gaming minions, how are you doing? You doing alright? Thank you very much for tuning in again. Not to be too over sacramental of the overall video, but I've got a bit of a retro shopping. I haven't got much to be honest, only when I got out these today. The problem that, you know, with moving house, where I live now is a lot different from where I, well, obviously, where I used to live, but in terms of me getting my video games for my retroness, my awesome retro gloriousness of the gold mining dig ups, which I'm, well, was looking for before I moved to this house. In any case, what I'm trying to say is the shop that I used to get my vid retro video gaming from is not really, not really much around here. But in any case, I did stumble across something uh, today, which is good. I only got, I only got two games. I have Medal of Honor. I have no honor. It'll be the first one I've ever owned Medal of Honor. You know, I've owned other first person shooters, but I've never owned Medal of Honor, which is quite interesting to be honest with you. And I look forward to actually trying this out to be honest, because uh, Medal of Honor, I've heard quite a few things about it. And it's always been one of those games that is like, I want to play it, but I've not actually played it. One of those ones. It's where you get this feeling where you want to play it, but you just never had the chance to. So I'm happy I've got this PlayStation one. The, the case is a bit cracked. It only cost me 50 pence. I'm going to tell you where I got this from as well, after I've showed you the second game. Now the second game is called Fear Effect. I have no idea what this game is about. Fear Effect. Interesting. I'm going to show you the reflection on the TV there. Oh, it's my reflection. Oh, blimey. It's, <laughs> look at this though. This is the reason why they cost 50 pence. Look at that. The, <laughs> the case is snapped. All right? Which I don't mind, as long as the game works. And it's a one out, it's four out of one, or one out of one, four discs, this game is. And I don't know what it's about. Oh, blimey, goodness me, man. Hang on a minute. <laughs> yeah, one side over there, and the other discs are over here. There we are. Yeah. Oh, blimey. You see, the thing is, I, I can, I'm going to tell you something right now, right? It's in one of those shops where, you know, they sell furniture and things, one of those third party shops that sell furniture. And they're selling like video games on the cheap. And there was another game there, Resident Evil 3. Mmm, Nemesis. Did I get it? No, I didn't get it. Why didn't I get it? Well, because when I actually... I wanted to be sure that it was inside. So when I got the game, the case was fine, but the game inside wasn't there. It was another game, a Konami game. Resident Evil's Capcom, not Konami. And I told, told the shop owner to tell me, oh, go and give it a try. I said, no, 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 they're two different companies. They're not the same game. So there's no point me buying it. You know, I know a bit about games, you know. <coughs> <coughs> so, uh, I, you know, it was there for, they, they really should check these games before they even get them. You know, if it's not the right game, put it in a separate case. And if it's not the actual game with the game, you know, um, casing, then don't bother selling it. They was going to sell me a, a fake game. You know, I was looking forward to playing some Resident Evil 3 tonight, but instead it wasn't even there, so that's a shame. So these were the two games I've got, only 50p each, which is good, so nice to go back and a little bit of retro there. Medal of Honor I look forward to playing. The case is a bit cracked, but other than that, it's the game, it's alright. The, the disc is alright, it's not too scratched, but these these things, they're, well, I mean, they're going to fall out. I'm going to have to try and sellotape this up so it, it doesn't like completely mold juice on me. Completely, yeah, uh, fear effect. I have no idea what it's about. Um, it says here, a familiar place in another time. Uh, three self-motivated and ruthless mercenaries conspire to track down a young runaway and ransom her off to her father. Mm, sounds like a, a good old flick movie, a good old action buster. And it says here it's even better than The Matrix. Ooh. <laughs> well, this was made in the 90s and it was PS1, so you, you know, pretty sure they had aspirations then. In any case, these are my two retro gaming pickups I got. Unfortunately for the Resident Evil 3, you know, it wasn't a proper game, it was a completely other game. I don't even know what it was called, it didn't even have a title on it. It didn't, no, no. And I was really annoyed with that, to be honest. I thought, yes, gonna get some Resident Evil 3, finally I can play it. And when I opened the disc, I was like, well, not the disc, the case, I was like, oh, crying out loud. No wonder it's 50p. Mm. I thought it was too good to be true. But in any case, my fellow video gaming minions, have you even heard of these games? I've mean, obviously heard of Medal of Honor, but have you heard of, heard of this one? Fear Effect? I might have a look at some gameplay of it later, before I even try it out. 
and hopefully all these work as well. So you take good care of yourself, my fellow video gaming minions, may retro gaming live on.